Hi everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm going to be recommending to you lots of Irish books that you may also enjoy if you enjoyed Normal People by Sally Rooney. I've got quite a range of recommendations here and they're not all similar to Normal People in the sense of them being millennial and about a romantic on and off relationship but I think there are aspects of all of these books which may appeal to you if you like normal people and there are plenty of lists out there of books that are similar to normal people but I really wanted to focus on other Irish books because it is the Irish Readathon. If you don't know what the Irish Readathon is I will leave my announcement video and my TBR linked both in the description and in the cards for you to check out. Now the obvious place to start is Sally Rooney's other books, Conversations with Friends, which which I think most people who have read Normal People have read now, but I really want to recommend this little short story called Mr. Salary, which I think fewer people have read and it is really really brief, it's really short, it's like 33 pages but there is so much packed into this really brief glimpse into two people's lives. This follows the very complicated messy relationship between Suki and Nathan. Suki's mother passed away and her father was very difficult so she ended up moving in with Nathan because she had nowhere else to go and this relationship has those kind of messy elements that you would recognize from normal people where people don't fully communicate what it is that they want. So if you are a Sally Rooney fan and you haven't picked this one up yet, what are you doing? This next book is the one that I think is probably the closest to normal people. This is A Tender by Belinda McEwen. I think this originally came out in 2015 and is set in the 1990s. It has the same university or college setting that you have in normal people. It's set around Trinity College and it does have that kind of um, pretentious angle to it. And it is about the complex and messy friendship between Catherine and James and how as this friendship ebbs and flows and they grow apart but go back to one another, their feelings do become very confused. There are blurred lines between friendship and romance and obsession and this book also really focuses on the experiences of being gay in Dublin and in Ireland as a whole in the 1990s. I do know that the normal people comparison gets chucked around with a lot of books, I mean I'm making a whole video about it but this is the one where I feel the most certain that if you love normal people you will love this too. This one doesn't come out until April but it is Guard Your Heart by Sue Dibbon. This is a YA book that is set in Derry in the summer of 2016. It follows the blossoming romance between Iona and Aiden. They are both 18 years old and if you liked those earlier parts of normal people like set in the school I think this book would really appeal to you for that reason. But I think if the class elements of normal people were something that you were interested in and the different upbringings and experiences between Cunnell and Marianne I think you will really like the aspects of this book that are about class. Iona and Aiden's upbringing and their subsequent romantic relationship is really impacted by tensions in Northern Ireland. Aiden's family are very nationalist, republican, they are catholic whereas Iona's family very much identify as being British and her father and her brother are in the police force. It's also a young adult novel that feels really true to what it's like to be a young person and you can really tell that the author knows what she's talking about and that she works with young people. I'd also like to recommend to you Promising Young Women by Caroline O'Donoghue. This was my favourite fiction book that I read in 2020. This book also deals with complicated and messy relationships, although it is quite different to the one in Normal People because in this book we are focused on an adrift woman in her 20s who enters into an affair with her much older boss. It's a really powerful depiction of what it is like to be little by little and so subtly manipulated to be under someone's control and eventually we see our main character's mental health and relationship with alcohol start to spiral. So in this book we do see those mental health struggles that we see in normal people even though they are quite different books. I would also really recommend Caroline's second book Scenes of a Graphic Nature. This one has much more of an Irish focus than we have in Promising Young Women as we follow a young filmmaker go back to the very small village that her father was raised in and she begins to uncover some mysteries from his childhood. He was the only survivor of a disaster in a school where the teacher and all of the children apart from him because he was sent home 
dying. This does also deal with complicated and messy romantic relationships and the blurred line between friendship and romance. I think if you enjoyed the Sligo setting that there is in Normal People, you might be interested in seeing a bit more of another part of Ireland and this one is set in Cork and Kerry. I am briefly going to recommend Almost Love by Louise O'Neill. This is another one that is about a messy, confusing, romantic relationship that has a power imbalance between a younger woman and a much older man. And in this one we really see how people can behave in unlikable ways and how the poor ways people have been treated in the past prompts them to have questionable behaviours in their own life. So again, if messy relationships is something that intrigues you, I think you would like this one too. Even though I haven't read it yet, I am going to recommend to you Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan. I have ordered the paperback of this book, so I'm hoping it arrives soon and I can get to reading it this month. But it's one that I am very confident that I'm going to enjoy and it is one that is compared to normal people quite a lot. This one is about an Irish woman who goes over to teach English as a second language in China. I believe this also has that kind of messy romantic relationship element to it, but it also has a lot to do with class like normal people does. And it also looks at the impact of British colonialism and empire on both Ireland and China and the relationships between all of those countries. As I've said, I've not read this one yet, so I can't give you a wholehearted recommendation, but I'm pretty confident that there would be something in this of interest if you like normal people. I'm also going to recommend a short story collection and that is Show Them a Good Time by Nicole Flattery. This actually has a quote from Sally Rooney on the back and she says, Show Them a Good Time is a masterclass in the short story, bold, irreverent and agonisingly funny and it does full justice to its author's immense talent. There are a bunch of different stories in here and a lot of them do focus on those kind of confusing romance dating moments. There are stories about university in here and a lot of these stories have a real dark humour as well. I would also recommend Sweet Home by Wendy Erskine and these are short stories that are set in Belfast and they are very brief glimpses into people's lives and that is the kind of short story that I really love. This is more of an author recommendation than one singular book but I really would recommend Emer McBride as well. Her novels are much more literary than normal people. I think normal Normal People is a very commercial novel and these are definitely more literary. A Girl is a half-formed thing, deals a lot with trauma and basically comes with all of the trigger warnings. This is about a young woman's relationship with her brother and the long shadow cast over her own life by his childhood brain tumour. It is a very different relationship to the one Marianne has with her brother, but if you are interested in sibling dynamics, I think this one might appeal to you. Strange Hotel is her most recent novel and it is kind of the one I would recommend the least if you're coming at it from the normal people angle. This follows a woman going in and out of a series of hotel rooms and grappling with her own emotions, her own feelings, her own desires, her boundaries, her relationships with men. The one I would recommend the most though is The Lesser Bohemians which is actually the only one that I don't have a physical copy of. This is another one that deals with messy relationships that have a difficult power dynamic in them. This is another one that is because of an age gap in the relationship but I do think there is often a power imbalance between Cunnel and Marianne, not because of age but because of other factors and if you find how those power imbalances can impact relationships interesting then the lesser bohemians might be one for you as well. I also really want to recommend the Country Girl series by Edna O'Brien. Does it annoy me that I don't have matching covers? Yes. Am I gonna get over it? Probably not. I think there are four books in this series and it starts with The Country Girls. I've only read the first two. But this is set in the 1960s in Ireland and we're focused on the friendship between Kathleen and Baba who both have quite a sheltered upbringing in rural Ireland and we follow them moving to Dublin like Cunnell and Marianne do and spreading their wings into the wider world. It does follow their romantic entanglements but it is ultimately focused on the friendship between these two girls. If the elements of normal people that you enjoyed are seeing these two young people move from quite a rural community to the big city and seeing how that impacts their friendship and makes them drift apart and come back together, then I would definitely recommend these books. And I think it would be really interesting for readers to see how that experience is different, but also still very similar between the 1960s and now. So there we have it. They are my recommendations for Irish books, if you liked normal people. We are in the midst of the Irish Readathon now, so I will leave all of the information that you need for that in the description, as I said, and it is never too late to join in. Have you read any of these books? Let me know your thoughts on them. Do you have any recommendations for me for books I might enjoy? That's all I'm gonna talk about today. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, and I will talk to you in my next video.